All right. Today on TFL Classics, we're doing a little NPG loop with the very familiar 1994 Dodge Ram 2500. This is the truck that I call the Moose. It's got a 5.9 liter 12 valve Cummins turbo diesel and a five speed manual. And Alex and I are on our way to the Black Hills of South Dakota to film some stuff for TFL Bike. And because of that, we're towing this tiny little motorcycle trailer behind us. So the idea is, let's see what this truck is gonna do in terms of MPG going highway speeds. Now most of these highways are bouncing between 70 to 80 mile per hour speed limits. So we're gonna be moving at a pretty good pace. And this truck is leveled and it's on 35s. So it's not sitting super low to the ground. Now, this is small, but we've actually seen this trailer have a pretty noticeable effect on the MPGs of a Duramax that Alex and I did a little MPG video with. So it'll be interesting to see how this impacts the fuel mileage on this truck. I've also got a topper on this, which should help us out a little bit in terms of aerodynamics. And we're definitely not gonna be hypermiling on this trip. We are going to be going at the pace that's gonna get us there to South Dakota. Now, while we're there in the Black Hills of South Dakota shooting all this bike stuff, Alex and I are gonna be camping, and something that you guys have not seen on the Classics channel is the whole camping setup that I've got in the back of this truck. As you can see, I've got some cabinets on each side of a memory foam mattress. It's very fancy, uh, very comfortable, so big thumbs up for that. David Morrow helped me build these cabinets, and eventually I want to Put fabric all on the inside of this topper, hang up some lights, make it very homely, make it something that my girlfriend will really enjoy being in. And when that all happens, we'll make a full video about this camping setup and how it all went together. You can also see I've got this cool vintage Coca-Cola cooler. I've got all my riding gear in there, all of my camera gear in there. We've got fold up chairs, we've got an awning. So we're all set up to have ourselves a really nice time camping in South Dakota. Now, I heard the pump click off just a couple moments ago, so I'm gonna do the Andre method. Now we're all topped off. We're going to use GPS to track exactly how far we're going because I've put bigger tires on this truck. My speedo is around about 10% off and we wanna be as accurate as possible. So we're gonna go until Alex's truck runs out of gas because my truck has way more range than his and uh, we'll calculate exactly how our mileage is. And while we're on the way, I'll also let you know how this truck tows. So let's do it. So the navigation says right now we are 267 miles away from our absolute final destination. That's not exactly how far I'm actually going to be going. Uh, in terms of how the truck is driving with the trailer hooked up, <laughs> it might as well not be there. I mean, that is a small and lightweight enough trailer that you could probably almost tow it behind our Subaru Crosstrek. Maybe not quite, but it's around about that size. It does not weigh a lot and it's tiny. So I can barely tell it's back there. I am starting out in second gear like I always do. Nothing different about that. But in terms of being on the highway in this truck in general, you can probably tell it's definitely a little loud. So right now I'm going what my speedo indicates as just over 70 miles per hour, which is in the real world just under 80 miles per hour. Uh, so we're just below the speed limit. And yeah, it's loud. That turbo, it sounds like it's in the ashtray. I mean, it makes a lot of noise. If I were to be going a hell of a lot faster, not that you ever really need to. It would be really loud. Uh, but we've got a couple hundred miles to go. Should be pretty easy going. So uh, let's do it. According to the GPS, we have done 152 miles, uh, which is not too bad, other than the fact that there is just 
nothing along the way. Just eyes glazed over, glazed, glazed over, just cruising down the highway. Yeah, not a lot to see, but I am excited to get to where we're going. It's gonna be pretty cool. Alex and I are gonna be riding a lot of motorcycles on some fun trails in a cool environment, camping out, so I can't wait for that. But in the meantime, let's see what we're doing in terms of MPGs. All right, well wait a second, refill it. Uh, I was also just saying to Alex, it's kind of weird. The trip computer, not computer, the trip odometer on my truck uh, says 155 miles and my GPS tells me 152, uh, which is a little weird because usually, well my truck should be going further than the dash thinks it's going because it's a larger tire covering a greater distance. Um, so I don't know, hopefully there's no weirdness going on with what the GPA, GPS is calculating. But, let's see, we've got 10.137 gallons. We'll do some quick math based on what the GPS says. All right, 152 divided by 10.137 would be 15 miles per gallon, which, you know, going 70 to 80 miles per hour with a trailer behind me, um, leveled on 35s, really not too bad of a number. Um, it's not fantastic. If it's at 18, I would love to see that. The most I've ever seen from this truck in a tank of fuel was around about 20 miles per gallon, which is pretty good. Um, and that was up at altitude on the highway pretty much the entire time, but still, 15 hauling a giant just block of material that's that's absorbing some wind and everything definitely not helping aerodynamically that's not too bad i'm i'm okay with that uh, plus it's got a huge tank in this truck so i guess it doesn't really matter too much one way or another i still get decent range so if you want to see what's going on out in south dakota what alex and i are doing with the motorcycles that are in the back of his truck and also the bike that's in this trailer, then be sure to hop over to TFL Bike because we're gonna be having a ton of fun there in South Dakota. There's gonna be a lot of videos coming out of that. Should be pretty cool. Um, as for this, yeah, good on the truck for doing decent in terms of mileage. And yeah, we'll see you in the next video.